Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. Are you guys tired of manual approval processes slowing down your business? Odoo 17's approval module is here to rescue you. In this video, we'll dive into how you can streamline your workflow, boost efficiency and maintain control over your business operations with this powerful tool. Get ready to say goodbye to approval bottlenecks and hello to a smoother, faster approval process. So let's begin. First of all, let's open the approval module. And this is the approvals. Okay, so there are three different menus which you can find inside the approvals module, which is my approvals, manager and configuration. Okay, so under the manager, this menu has come because we have been, you know, logged in as the manager. So you can see there are two menus, which is approvals to review and all approvals. Similarly, we have configuration. So under configuration, we have approval types and under products, we have products as well as product variants. And here under my approvals, you can see new request as well as my request. Okay. So to create a new approval request, it's really simple. You can simply go to this new request and create a new one. So before that, let's take a look at the dashboard. So this is the dashboard where you can see different types of approvals. You have the business trip, the contract approval, the procurement and all such things. So if you want to add a new one and view that in the dashboard, what you have to do is go to configuration. Here you have the approval types. Okay, so this, these are the different approval types. I'm going to create a new one called vacation. Okay, my new approval type is vacation. And the description, I'm giving it as this is a new type. Okay, this is a new type and the approval type, you can choose either create RFQs or not. So I am going to click on create RFQs. So by using this approval type, an RFQ should be created. And here you have the automated sequence. So if you want to create a sequence, you have to specify the code. So I'm giving it as VAC and then you have the company name. Okay, the company name will all already be there because the logged in company will be seen. Next, you have the fields. So you can choose which all fields should be viewed or which all fields should be visible. You can either set them to none, optional or even required. So currently only field available there is document. So I'm going to put contact also as optional and then date also. Okay, even if you want to add a period that can be added as optional one. Okay, and you can save it there. And then here you have the employer, I mean employees manager. So it, it comes under the topic, which is called the approvers. So how the employees manager interacts with this type of approval. So if you put it as empty, they'll be doing nothing. If you set it as is approver, the employees manager will be in the approval list. And if you set it as is required approver, the employees manager will be required to approve the request. Okay, so I'm putting it as empty itself. And here you can set the approvers. So the approvers, I'm marking it as Michelle Edmund. And then adding one more person, let it be Joy Wills. So two approvers I've added. And if you want to mark it as a required approval, then you can check the checkbox over here. So this is the approver sequence. That is first who should approve and second who should approve and all that can be set. It. Next, you have the minimum approval. So one is given there. So minimum one approval is required for this to get approved. Okay, so that's how it's it's been created it's that simple so i'm saving it so that's the new approval type which you have created okay so here you can see the vacation which i have created okay now if you want to create a new request under the vacation you can click on new request over here so before moving on to that under configuration we have two more menus which is the products as well as the product variants so click on products there and here it shows all the products okay so Click on new there and simply you can create a product. You have the different product types over here. Okay, so you can create a product from here. So you guys know how to create a product. You can refer to our previous videos to see how a product is created in detail. Similarly, the product variants can be found under the product variants menu. Okay, so a single product can have multiple variants, right? So all the variants can be seen in detail here under the product variants. A new product variant can be created by clicking on the new button over here. Okay, it's that simple. So that's the configuration. And if you go to my approvals, let's go to new requests. I'm going to create a new request under the type which I've created, which is the vacation. Okay, 
So the date I'm choosing it as 25 and the period I'm choosing it as 26 to next month first. Okay. And the product, you can add a product here. Okay. So I'm adding the product as nothing. Let it be empty. And here you have the description as well as the approvers. Okay. So there are two approvers, which is Michelle Edmund as well as the Joel Wills. Okay. There are two people. So once you create it, you can do is submit. Okay. So we have to create a purchase request. So I'm adding a product, which is customizable desk. Okay. Once it's done, you can save it. And after saving it, submit it. So this has been submitted. Now the options which the manager has is approve, refuse, cancel, and also attach the document. Okay. So these much options are there. So I'll just move on to the other person's perspective. So let's log in as demo. Mark demo. Okay. Mark demo is not an administrative person. So I'm logging in as mark demo. Okay. So let's give never. And here I'm going to choose the approvals. Okay. So for the approvals, Mark Demo will be having different approvals here. So he is going to create a new approval. Okay. So this is Mark Demo's approval. Okay. So what he is going to do is add the date. All these are optional. Okay. 25. Then you have the period, the contact. So I'm adding the contact as Anita Oliver. And the product I'm adding it as because we, we are going to create an RFQ out of this. Right. So I'm adding stool as the product. Okay. Once it's done, if you want, you can attach a document. Okay. So this has been submitted. Again, if you just take a look, you don't have an option to approve it. Okay. So you can only see the status here. So here in the manager, you can see approvals to review. So for, for this person, that is for Mark Demo, there is no approvals to review. And also you can see all the approvals. Okay. All the approvals are here. You can only see the request status, which are which is to submit. To submit and submit it. So if you go to my request, so you can see your request, which you have created this, which is this one, which is in submitted state. So now let's log out as Mark Demon and I'm logging it as admin. Okay. So I've logged in as admin. And here you have the approvals, opening the approvals. Okay. So you can see to review, there are two, you know, approval requests. Okay. So just click on that and you can see the ones which are, I mean, created. So this is the one which Mark Demo created. This is in submitted state. So this person that is Michelle Edmund has to approve it. So if you go to manager and click on approvals to review also, you can find the very same thing. So I'm opening that and here he's approving it. So what happens is that it is changed to approved state. Okay. So after approving it, you can create RFQ out of it or even withdraw or cancel it. Okay. So this is approved. Now, if you go to mark demo and check, this will be approved. So let's go and check it. Okay. I'm logging out. So here I'm logging in as demo. So let's log in and let's go to the approval. Okay, so this is the approvals. So you can see my request. So this is your request. You can see it's in approved state. Okay. So from here, either this person or the manager can create RFQ. So, okay. So what you have to do is you have to set a vendor for this product. Only then the, you know, uh, RFQ can be created. So that's the problem. So let's go back to this admins page, which is Michelle admins perspective. Okay. I'm logging in. Okay. So this is the approvals open that. And here under the configuration, you can see products. So the product which I've chosen was stool, right? So this is the stool, which I've chosen. So I'm opening that. And under the purchase tab, I'm going to set a vendor for the product. So Audrey Peterson is the vendor. One quantity, the price I'm setting it. Okay, everything is set. 
saving it. Now let's go to all approvals I'm choosing and this is the one which was approved. Now here I'm trying to create an RFQ. So right now we've created an RFQ because that issue has been solved. Uh, there was an issue which was like to add a vendor. So I've added a vendor for the product and the issue is solved and here comes the purchase order which we've created. So this is the purchase order generated through the approval request. Okay. So that's how you do it. You can even withdraw it or even cancel it. Okay. And also you can attach the document along with the approval request. So that's how you do it. Now that's the my approval where you can see new requests. Okay. And then I mean where you can create new requests as well as to see my requests. So the request which you have created and you can see under which stage the request is currently in. Okay, then comes the manager. So if you are set as a manager means the approval request which is assigned to you will be shown here under approvals to review. So here and for Michelle admin there is an approval to be reviewed. And here you can see the all approvals. Okay, all approvals can be seen and also the request status. Okay, so for under configuration you have the approval types, products and product variants. So these are the basic things which comes under the approval module. It's that simple. So using this you can basically you know, manage the approvals very easily. So I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.